Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So let's now look at the market since it was closed today on 25th of uh, December and it's going to reopen again on 28th. Now, let's see what are the opportunities that are actually waiting for us on this uh, market and let's see what's going to happen uh, till end of this awesome year. Now, let's begin, of course, as usual with the Euro USD. Now, for the Euro USD, actually, what we can see right here is right now the pair is still ranging at this very strong resistance level on 1.2748. The pair is still actually ranging at that level uh, previously uh, as a resistance, and right now it's actually acting as a support. And the very first thing we can notice that the, the market has actually made so many attempts to break out from that sub pre uh, previous resistance level. As we can see, the pressure from the buyers to take the market up right here and right here and right here as well. So that means that the, the Euro USD is facing a pressure from the bulls or from the buyers indicates that most likely what will going to happen is that the Euro USD is going to actually continue the rise. Not to mention, of course, that if we draw here a support trend line like that, we can notice that the Euro USD actually respecting that support trend line. And at the moment, it doesn't really seem that it's going to be able to break out from that uh, previous support level. And seems like the Euro USD is actually going to continue climbing its way. Therefore, uh, I believe that this week or this upcoming week, sorry, we are going to look for opportunities to start buying the Euro USD. Now, let's go back to the one hour time frame so we can identify the levels where we can actually start buying the pair. The very first thing we can notice here is that we have drawn a support trend line and I think it has been drawn correctly. So therefore, we can expect from the pair. Let me just adjust this a little bit more. So we can expect from the Euro USD to fall just a little bit more down to hit that support, uh, support trend line, which was previously a resistance as well. As you can see right here, it was a, st a strong key resistance level. And from that, from that point, the Euro USD is going to continue climbing and we can start actually buying it. That being said, Euro USD should be good for the buy at 1.21748. And uh, the edge of the safe zone should be ranging right here, just below until the support level. Because actually, let me just see how many pips is that. Actually, we can make it a little bit more just until here, until the uh, edge of the other support, le uh, support level, which is almost 44 pips. The reason I say that this is going to be the end of the trade, if the trade is actually going to fall below that uh, support trend line, if we see here a breakout, which I really don't see is going to happen, I really doubt it, we can expect from the pair actually to fall to that previous support level like that, and it's going to reverse at the support level, and then it's going to bounce back up, uh, which we call a pullback, and it's actually going to retest the broken support trend line, and right now it's going to become a new resistance trend line. However, with the weakness of the dollar cur uh, uh, currently uh, uh, right now, I don't think the uh, the retest is going to succeed and I think it's going to fail and I believe the pair actually going to continue the rise again. That's why we have to be careful and let's put all the uh, opportunities in our calculations and be careful when we are trading the pair. Of course, if in this if in, uh, we started buying the pair, the target is going to be the highest top of the resistance. So we are looking for almost uh, 98 pips, which we can say almost 100 pips. Hopefully we will make it from this trade. So the target is going to be 1.22724. There goes your signal for let me. I, I forgot to draw the edge of the safe zone like that so there goes your signal this week for the euro usd i really hope it will, it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now moving to the pound usd pound usd actually has been really um how can i say that it was somehow uh, confusing let's say now the first thing is that finally finally <laughs> They have made a deal with Europe to exit uh, the, uh, the, the EU uh, group. And I believe right now uh, UK or uh, yeah, UK is going to actually exit with a deal. However, the news about the new strain of the COVID-19 is actually uh, affecting the currency as well. So you are having right now almost two news. One of them is going to bring the currency up. Other one is going to bring the currency down. Of course, the news about the deal of the Brexit is going to bring the currency up. 
and the news about the new strain of the COVID-19, which is affecting the whole uh, nation, I think, right now in UK, is actually going to bring the currency down. That is, of course, a very simple ex- explanation. I don't want to go to the. I don't, don't. I don't want to really go to the deeper details. However, I believe um, it's going to be a little bit confusing. So therefore, we have to be extra extra careful about how we are trading trading the pound this week. So actually, I was planning to set a plan here. Uh, uh, sorry, to, to set a, um, a signal to start buying the pound USD from the level 1.35217 right from here. And I was thinking that the pair actually might continue the rise immediately. However, after considering uh, a few other things, I think that most likely what will going to happen is after seeing this price action right here at the top of the resistance and seeing that the pair has actually failed to break out from the level 1.36290 that actually the euro the, sorry the pound usd might actually fall just a little bit more until uh, 1.38 uh, sorry 1.34890 sorry guys it's really small <laughs> sometimes it's hard to to, to read anyway uh, what i was going to say is that we can actually start buying the pound usd once it reaches that level we have to wait for the pair to fall for another 44 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy after that i believe the pound usd is going to be good for the buy and if in case we do we actually going to set a target just right here to be at the top of the resistance so we are looking for almost 132 pips of profit from this trade however the safe zone is actually going to be ranging just right here until the like that until the uh, top of the previous resistance because most likely if the pair ever can fall below that level it might reverse exactly right here uh, at the previous uh, resistance since actually this week right here is the nearest to the bullish breakout candle which is right here and also in the past the very same level was a strong support gears, uh, key support level so the safe zone should be ranging for exactly 52 pips and the target uh, is going to be ranging for almost 134 pips of profit. So therefore, uh, pound USD should be good for the buy uh, from the level 1.34890. And this is going to be the edge of the safe zone like that. And the target is going to be 1.36200. I really want to warn everyone to please be extra careful when you are trading the pound. I personally didn't really want to give the signal, but I I found it ugly to not give the signal for the pound USD on uh, on a row for two weeks. So therefore, that's my preferred signal for the pound USD, and I really hope it is gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now looking at the AUD USD, AUD USD actually has been ranging at here at the previous resistance level on 0 0.75 uh, sorry 75 yeah 0 0.75686 and it seems like the pair actually has met what we call a fake breakout or actually a failed attempt to break out from that previous resistance uh, resistance even right here when the market actually went up again it went down here uh, and respected the support level as 0 0.73 uh, 0.75325 and again it made a bullish breakout from that level Right now, the AUD USD is actually getting ready to retest again the, pro the, bro the broken uh, resistance, which has become already a support right here for uh, the level 0 0.75686. And I believe it's going to be actually a very ideal to start buying the AUD USD right from that level. So, therefore, let's just go to the one hour time frame, and this is the support I'm talking about. So, that resistance, that key resistance level, has already become right here. A previous support level and we can see that the AUD USD has reversed from that resistance right here on 0 0.76040 and now it's getting ready to retest again so it's going to create a support number two and from that point the AUD USD is going to continue the rise so therefore AUD USD should be good for the buy at the level 0 0.75686 and we can keep the trade running uh, let me see how many pips is that exactly perfect that's perfect we can keep the thread running uh, in worst cases until it hit the lowest level of that previous support level right here so the safe zone can be actually ranging for another exactly 50 pips i would say 
and let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone just like that let's go back to the four hour time frame so we can identify our target our target is gonna actually be the top of the resistance right here so sadly we are not aiming a lot of pips this time we are barely aiming 70 pips from the AUD USD. it is what it is and i really don't see how we can change that i think it's gonna be a good signal and it's gonna be valid hopefully so the take profit level is gonna be 0 0.76383 hopefully also it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now let's look at the usd cad usd cad actually gonna continue the fall if i'm not mistaken and the reason as we can see right here that the aud sorry the usd cad has actually made the bullish breakout candle uh, sorry the bullish breakout movement from this long-term resistance trend line as we can see right here we had this breakout level from the uh, sorry the, bre the breakout candle from that uh, resistance trend line and most likely the pair is getting ready for a retest so meaning that previous uh, as a resistance trend line is actually going to become a new support trend line and if i'm not mistaken the usd cad actually going to continue the fall until it hit that previous support level on 1.27664 no sorry 1.27684 sorry so we can actually be aiming about 93 pips profit from this trade so therefore usd cad sorry we take profit sell at the level 1.28642 hopefully uh, the pair is actually gonna reverse at that level of course let me explain the reason if we go now to the one hour time frame we can see that right here we had a previous key support level which has already become another resistance and this actually can be um, this one can be actually considered as a resistance number one so by seeing this strong bullish candle we can expect from the usd cat to continue the rise to hit the same level of the resistance to create a resistance number two and then after that it's not gonna fall oh my god i'm talking too much okay so <clears throat> yeah sell right here and the safe zone of course is gonna be ranging until the peak of the resistance right here so the safe zone should be ranging for almost i would say 49 or 50 pips only uh, we can insert the shape right here and the sell right here and the take profit right there take profit 1.27684 so again hopefully also it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now looking at the usd gpy usd gpy i still insist it's gonna rise however currently the usd gpy actually reversing at that strong resistance level at 103 0.805 now what we can expect right here that the usd gpy actually gonna continue the upper momentum just like that and i believe after seeing the resistance uh, and the reversal on the resistance we can expect from the usd gpy on monday opening to fall a little bit more just to hit the previous strong key support level on 103.511 and after that the usd gpy gonna continue the rising until it reach at least the top of the resistance at 104.800 that being said usd gpy is gonna be good for the buy at 103.511 and of course the take profit level the take profit level is gonna be as i said before the resistance right here so we are actually aiming 100 um let's be honest the usd gpy is moving very slow these times and i really don't see the pair actually gonna be able to reach that level soon so so let me just change the target just to be right here and be realistic and let me just be mm, i need to be sure I cannot just set the targets randomly. I mean, if we can see the pair actually right here, we're having right here a strong resistance trend line. Uh, daily, daily candle. No, let's start drawing the trend line from here, like that. So we can expect from the USD GPY to rise all the way until it hit that resistance trend line, meaning we can look for a target up to that resistance i'm just showing you the 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 actual analysis how i'm doing my analysis usually and i didn't pause the video just to make sure that you guys are learning uh, my way my own way on analyzing the targets and the entries of course so the target is actually gonna be almost 100 pips of profit meanwhile 
the safe this is not the safe zone the safe zone should be ranging until the bottom of the previous support level so it's gonna be ranging for almost um 45 pips which is really fair enough perfect there goes your signal for the usd gpy like that we can buy from 103.511 and the target is going to be take profit uh 104.511 i'm very satisfied with that and i hope it's gonna happen and hopefully also we will bring uh, sorry we will make some good profits out of this signal now USDCHF. USDCHF actually as we can see is still rising and I believe the pair is actually going to continue the rise until it hit the peak of the resistance which we already have right here a resistance number one and it's going to rise until it hit it, hit it on 0 0.89382. After that after creating a resistance number two the pair is definitely going to be good for the short. So therefore uh, USDCHF is actually going to be good for the short right here at the resistance level uh, sell at 0 0.89382 and let me just be honest with you some, about something let me be honest about something um, the USDCHF actually if it has let me just tell you exactly here the USDCHF might actually be able to break out from that resistance if we see a bullish breakout candle appears at the, the same level of this resistance on 0 0.89382, please close your trade immediately. Only if you see a bullish breakout candle. And you have to prepare for start shorting the USDCHF again exactly, exactly at this level on 0 0.89, uh, 0 0.89827. Now, sadly, there is no way for me to confirm this. And the only thing I can do actually is set my uh, safe zone to be exactly right here. So please be ready that USDCHF signal might actually fail at the beginning and it might rise uh, inside the safe zone or the edge of the safe zone until it hit the, the other side or oh, sorry, the other, uh, yeah, the other edge of the safe zone and it might reverse exactly at that previous support level. And from that point, it actually going to continue the fall. So therefore, I'm going to increase, I have to increase my uh safe zone just like that to be a little bit above the previous support where we are actually expecting from the pair to reverse so sadly this time uh the safe zone for the uccchf is going to be actually big it's going to be about 63 pips and sadly that is the best i can do right now since it's not really clear clear what will going to happen but however i'm not telling you that it's definitely going to uh, rise up Actually, I doubt this is going to happen. I'm just giving you the 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 the, the, um, the possibilities or what might happen, just to keep it in your, in your mind that it might happen. And I advise you to start shorting the USDCHF right here at that previous resistance. And the target this time is going to be the lowest level of the support at 0 0.88300. Therefore, the target is going to be right here. I'm trying to make it almost the same. So the target is going to be take profit as 0 0.88310. There goes your signal for the USDCHF and I really hope it will work very well for us, uh, for us and bring us uh, uh, those 107 pips of profits. Now let's look at the gold. Now the gold actually the gold signal from the last weekly analysis has worked very very well as we can see. And right now for those who have opened the trade the gold is running in almost 172 pips of profit. However, uh, gold actually might reverse right now. Let me just delete the previous signal. Now, the gold actually facing a strong resistance right here, as we can see, right here and right here as well, on zero. On sorry, on 1,879.90. There is a chance that the you see uh, the, <laughs> the gold might now reverse a little bit more just to hit the previous support level right here like that and from that point it's actually going to continue the rise i really believe that the gold is going to continue rising right now the dollar is really weak and i don't th i don't think at all that the gold is right is going to fall right now of course all of that going to happen um I unless there was some unexpected news or an annou announcement from mr joe biden or mr president uh, mr trump 
and hopefully nothing is gonna affect the um, or not, not gonna impact the price of the gold however let me draw for you exactly the previous support level where I'm expecting from the gold to fall to exactly right here if we notice it was in the past a key support level right here it was also a strong resistance uh, key resistance level it was also a key support level in the past and not to mention of course if we zoom in let me go to the smaller time frame exactly right here we can see it was also a strong key support level so that is what uh, i'm expecting to happen for the gold to fall like that at the opening on monday and after that it's gonna continue the rise so therefore uh, gold should be good for the buy at the level 1869.36 and the target is actually going to be right here at that previous uh, support level so we are looking for 220 pips of profit hopefully really we will make them all uh, 1891.17 and the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for so much i think we can make the safe zone ranging only until the bottom level of the support level right here so there is a chance maybe the pair actually might fall a little bit more uh, so the safe zone is going to be ranging for exactly 81 pips, which is really fair enough. And the, this, is, this is the edge of the safe zone. Sorry, guys, I'm talking too much. I'm just doing my best to uh, deliver to you the best signals possible for uh, Forex this week. And I really hope it's going to work very well for us. And hopefully we'll make good profits out of it. Of course, this is the closing of the year 2020 and of course in this occasion i just wanted to wish everyone a very happy new year in advance and i hope 2021 is bring us a lot of uh, happiness and joy unlike 2020 which was sadly a disaster for a lot of people and of course i wanted to warn you that the market is going to be i think um it's going to be closed 31 yeah next um no sorry friday next friday is going to be closed for the new year new year eve and we have to be, of course, careful. I believe in January, we're going to be back for trading as usual. And hopefully also, uh, we will make lots of profit starting from January. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.